Hallelujah. This is October, our month of divine illumination. Our scripture for the month is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 16, message translation. But I'll take the hand of those who don't know the way, who can't see where they're going. I'll be a personal guide to them, directing them through unknown country. I'll be right there to show them what roads to take, make sure they don't fall into the ditch. These are the things I'll be doing for them, sticking with them, not leaving them for a minute. May this scripture find fulfillment in your life this month in Jesus' name. Illumination means to make something visible by shining light on it or to give clarity about an issue. Brethren, it is possible to be looking at a thing and not seeing it, or perhaps seeing it but not the way it should be seen. This is why it's said that many are the eyes that look, but few the eyes that see. When the mind is blind, the eyes only look but won't see. But if the mind is illuminated, understanding comes to it. Your mind will never be blind in Jesus' name. I pray that prayer one more time. Your mind will never be blind in Jesus' name. God will open the eyes of your heart in Jesus' name. The disciples were walking with Jesus on the road to Emmaus, but they didn't know he was the one. They were looking with their eyes, but their mind couldn't interpret who he was. There is something worse than being blind in the eyes. It is the blindness of the mind. I pray for you one more time. Your mind will never be blind in Jesus' name and the lamp of your life will never go off in Jesus' name. Psalms 18 verse 28, Christian Standard Bible Translation Lord, you light my lamp, my God illuminates my darkness. May the Lord light your lamp in the name of Jesus and may he sustain your lamp in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone who walks in darkness is bound to stumble, but whoever walks in the light sees his way clearly. You will never walk in darkness in Jesus' name. God will flood your path with light in Jesus' name. Can I pray for you one more time that the Lord, Jehovah Ori, will be your light in Jesus' name. That's Psalm 18 verse 28 from the message translation. It says, Suddenly, God, you flood light my life. I'm blazing with glory, God's glory. I decree that all through this month, you will blaze with glory, God's glory in Jesus' name. The Lord will flood your life with light in Jesus' name. God will grant you wisdom to handle every matter that comes your way in Jesus' name. Your eyes will not be blind to whatever you should see in Jesus' name. You will be like the children of Issachar, men with understanding of the times in Jesus' name. God will grant you insights into happenings in and around your life in Jesus' name. Now hear this. How people respond to you will depend on how they see you. Different people may look at you and see different things. Some may not even see you at all. May you not be invincible to your God-ordained helpers in Jesus' name. Oh, I thought I would hear a very loud amen to that. Let me pray that prayer one more time. May you not be invincible to your God-ordained helpers in Jesus' name. And they will not only see you, they will see you well, they will see you clearly in Jesus' name. Say this prayer with me in faith. Father, from today, let me be visible to those you have assigned to be a blessing to me. In Jesus' name. 
Say it again. Say, Father, from today, let me be visible to those you have assigned to be a blessing to me. In Jesus' name. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. The Lord will take you by the hand and lead you in Jesus' name. He will be right there to show you what to do, where to go, who to meet, and what to say in Jesus' name. You will never fall into the ditch of life in Jesus' name. Can I get a louder amen to that? You will never fall into the ditch of life in Jesus' name. I welcome you to the month of October, our month of divine illumination. Somebody give God a glorious shout of hallelujah. God bless you.